Hey guys, welcome back to Only in the Blind Forest Part 6. I know that it's been a while. Um, long story short, there was a bug in my OBS software, and I used to use Shadowplay, but tried making this video with OBS, and it didn't record any of my voice, so I'm going to talk about the game mechanics that I saw through this next little bit and uh, still try and leave in as much as I can through the, the gameplay and, and the playthrough itself. Um, again, sorry, but, you know, what do you do? So, uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to make a video on how I fixed the OBS. And other than that, uh, enjoy the video. Thanks. So, this game doesn't actually give you, it doesn't hold your hand in anything, and by introducing this new character who has stolen something and makes it instrumental to a piece of the story, the player naturally wants to go and chase, and while this uh, event seems insignificant at the moment, it plays quite a significant role into maybe the new player later on. Later on. This first interaction with this town enemy just leaves one to wonder that this is a new enemy. However, with the game forcing you to, well, not forcing, but providing you with the opportunity to learn at this early stage is to what these enemies do and how this mechanic can play in a role in the future. Being that I was able to kill these enemies early and quickly and I was not exposed to its true potential until later on. It wasn't until this moment where I realized what the game was actually trying to teach me was the mechanic, a very important mechanic in order to continue. There's subtleties in games, and 
again, going back to the player's natural instinct to chase an enemy and not let them get away. In, in this scene, you see a very key part where you want to chase the enemy and by doing so and in this cutscene it shows you exactly where you need to go however you do not find out or at least I didn't find out how to actually get there until later underrated tools a developer has in his toolbox to get a player to use or manipulate a player into doing some action is color. Now I noticed that once I figured out the mechanic of using the enemies to interact with the environment that that's how I needed to proceed but the key moments were where to get them to interact because I could have them shoot their explosive canisters or whatever but actually getting them to land in the right spot was the key to progressing everything. So here we are, still chasing this enemy with the stolen orb, and many things have been introduced in this next cutscene. Not only does the enemy show you how to navigate through these laser obstacles, he does so in a very fluid fashion. These lasers or power beams or however else you refer to them as is new to this this point. And this this seems so simple and the game makes it out to be so easy, which it is and it can be, but because it is so simplistic looking, you jump the gun, which at least I did many, many, many times, and messed up and died more times on this simple Part, the simple navigation of a puzzle then I don't even know how to explain so this is a way to trick the player into a false sense of security and provide them with enough information to know that yeah, you just dodge a couple laser beams and you're fine 
but not enough information as far as timing, which is crucial, and how to go, like how to navigate. You, you follow the enemy, but actually implementing it is a different story. Because as you can see, the enemy can hang on the walls, hang on the ceiling, where you don't have that ability. So, it adds another layer of complexity when you watch it versus implementing it. So, I know that this is different, and that, uh, you know, I'm a little bummed that it didn't quite work out with OBS the first go around, but hopefully future videos we won't have this problem. I'm sure we'll run into plenty of other issues, but, you know, it's the nature of the beast. Um, this game is a lot of fun and I think that it's very well made and I could probably sit here and dissect it with, you know, every well, the fine tooth comb and understand everything. I think that, you know, I've got a lot to learn still and I'm looking forward to playing the rest of this game. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to uh, figure out what that, that bug was in, in OBS, and uh, you know, we can we can look into that. If uh, if you like this video, like, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I can do more like this, where you know I play and, and then dissect what's going on. Um, other than that. My next video should be back to normal, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, uh, see you next time.